Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other. This is impressive. Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're gonna get to Eligard, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh, Jesse! <gasps> Buddy, let's go. I never doubted you for a second, but but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign. Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come. to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow. Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering? Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Yeah. <laughs>
every day. Jesse, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Eligard. But I'm still pretty cool. Sure, if you can save the world. No, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. And Eligard isn't one for appointments. The world is going to get eaten by a giant monster if you don't let us talk to Eligard. Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. Okay, sure, that would be great. If I'm not mistaken, that should go right to Eligard's private office. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. This place is pretty complicated. Speaking of which, I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. you checking out my catapult friend it's got an easy to use lever right there so feel free to fling a cow or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first <coughs> oh believe me he'll love it I've never known a cow not to like it especially the ones that survive of course not pig you're seriously missing out here <coughs> Hi. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely the sort of creation that Eligard's future protege might make, no? Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> Need a hand with anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer, uh, but I'm doing just fine, thanks. So long as that dunderhead sticks over there. What am I looking at, exactly? 
This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. The perfect fusion for my two loves, cows and music. Eligard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. Just stay away from that little uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. Hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty, but some people just aren't as great as I am. And some people, I did. Tell me about this machine of yours. It's freaking huge. The mighty Mechmaster 9 million? Yeah, <laughs> it's huge. It's bigger than huge. It's immense. Does it do anything other than be big? It walks, I think. But most importantly, it'll totally nab me the spot as Eligard's protege. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Eligard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. Been real chatty with that disco friend of yours. What's he been telling you about me, huh? He's just jealous. Doesn't think I deserve to be Eligard's protege. Is this idea yours, like, 100%? Because he kind of says that you steal your ideas. All of them. That no good, dirty, ugh, disco freak! I've got a bone to pick with you! Steal all my ideas, huh? That's what you're telling people. Guess I just call him like a Sam. Ooh, you are just... Ugh. Well, you know what I call the... Oh, no, my machine. Oh, my cows. Oh, something's gone wrong with the clock circuit. Uh, the lava isn't switching with the water. Oh, no, your amazing invention. You, you did this. Hey, I am not taking credit for any of this. That machine's been a cow death trap since block one. Oh, my cows. My poor cows. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Switch is on. That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Switch is on. Okay, good, good. Bam, door open. Eligard's Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. Stone stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. Yeah, what are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up. 
keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh-huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man, look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients. Now, I don't want to alarm you, Olivia, but I have no idea what I'm looking at here. I don't know what it is yet, either. That's why I'm studying it. Come on, let's keep moving. That's awesome. Like you wouldn't believe. I wonder what she'll really be like in person. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request, operational. Delivery latency, speedy. Still talking to myself? Yep. Whoa, hi. Hey, <laughs> didn't see you sneaking up on me. <laughs> Guess that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly adorable pig, that is. <laughs> Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you. Goggle girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. Wow, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Olivia? Uh, Olivia, can you hear me? I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Ugh, oh, so embarrassing. Everything working over... <laughs> hmm. Fine, I I'll just do it myself then. Come on, come on, come on. Big winner, big winner, big. Loser. Ugh. Trial number 6,451. Another bust. Now, about you three. Uh, your friend here. Does she fall over frequently? Is this gonna be a regular occurrence? I... No. I'm sorry. I was just so excited to... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts, I could have tripped over you and conked my brain. Eligard, we've actually got much bigger problems to deal with. We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who, who sent you? Was it Calvin? Gabriel sent me. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting. But I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. 
Oh, I'm so close, I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory. You're trying to make a command block. Let me help you. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra genius level stuff here. You've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. You're the ones who brought this. It came up, no note or anything, and I was terribly curious about where it had come from. Yes, the amulet. Gabriel gave it to me. That's how we found you. He did? So, could we have that back? Sure, whatever. I don't even like amulets. Yes, this is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this Witherstorm monster thing or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. That sounds perfect. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic.
Okay, just a little farther. Well, that's certainly impressive. Wow. Oh, who goes there? Oh, Jesse? Is that you? Lucas, did you build all of this? Well, yeah. I, I figured I would try and fortify the place, you know? Nice! I'm so glad you're back. And we brought Eligard! Fantastic! Quick, come on. You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. Gabriel! Hello, everyone. It is good to see you. He showed up not too long before you guys. Elagard, my old friend. Boy, are you a sight for sore eyes. Maybe with you here, we actually stand a chance against this thing. Oh, how I've missed your optimistic spirit. Oh, and it's especially good to see you, Jesse. I fear that you might be the last face I ever saw. It's such a relief to see you. I'm glad you're okay. If you hadn't pulled me out of the Witherstorm's clutches, well, let's just not think about that. I came here to the temple, hoping against hope to find other survivors. It makes me glad that, even in these terrible times, this temple can stand as a stronghold, a symbol. Did the Witherstorm leave anything? Is anything left of our home? All that creature left in its wake was bedrock. All those people. Your friend Petra. my home too i barely got away it needs to be stopped we are alive that means there's still hope come along everyone else is still inside boy can't remember the last time i saw this place would someone care to explain what he is doing here? Well, this isn't going to go well. Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little... adventure of his own while you were gone. An adventure to get him? Did you know about this? Why didn't you tell me? You did this on purpose. Holy crap, I can't believe it. That's Magnus the Rogue. Oh, I always forget that there are people that actually like seeing that idiot. Look, just wait here a second while I figure out what's going on. Much appreciated. So, who are you then? And why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? That's Jesse, my best friend. Trust me, Jesse's totally cool. We are reuniting the Order of the Stone. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the king of Boomtown. Ah! We've been bonding and stuff. I've had, like, the best day. Did you say king? Yeah, I did. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament, and... Long story, you had to beat him. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnics. Bada-bing, bada-boom! Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean? Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean, but I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus, that's very... Sweet. Yeah, he's sticking up for me. It's because I'm really awesome and super cool. Would you all cut it out? Holy crap, you're all acting like crazy people. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed everything. Little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just think it away? You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you, this thing was like nothing I've ever seen. Why? Because it's never come inside one of your little workshops? 
This arguing isn't helping anything. If we want to stop that thing, we're going to need some serious firepower. Jesse speaks the truth. We must find a way to defeat that monstrosity. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Are they getting along? So what are we gonna do? How are we gonna stop it? Well, let's not panic, first of all. That's a good first step. But against such an unthinkable enemy, even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie, not this again. Wait, Magnus. She may have a point. Soren did have certain objects, inventions. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. Wait, Magnus, I want to hear what she's saying. Soren had a kind of super TNT, stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. A Formida bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F bomb before. F bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F bomb could destroy anything. Well, the Formida bomb sounds perfect. We should go get it now. Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is, but we found Magnus and Eligard. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him, unless he's in the nether or the end. But it's worth a shot. I bet we can find him. Your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. I mean, I never actually went there with him. Then let's stop hanging around here and go get us some super TNT. Whoa. It didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? Blue? Blue? That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move! Not too far, we could probably make it on foot. Righteous. We'll get some rest and head out first thing in the morning, avoiding all the nighttime and monsters and everything. If you had seen that monster, you wouldn't be saying that. We need to leave now. I think it's following us, Magnus, and I don't want to risk it catching up with us. We have to go now. Yeah, I don't want the weather storm catching up with us. We should go now. An excellent call, Jesse. I'm far more decisive than either of us are being. What a coincidence that it's your plan! But fine. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Yo, we haven't really gotten a chance to chat. Oh, hello. Gabe over there says you saved him from this witherstorm thing. You're pretty tough, huh? 
regular iron golem, huh? Leaving the creepers quaking in their boots. I'm just doing my best to keep everyone safe. Humility. Nice. I can dig it. Kinda wish you had my back before. But whatever. Still seem alright. Ish. What's the deal with your buddy Axel? Can't tell if he's awesome or a little bit of a dork. He's just a little, uh, doofy, you know? He's like a little puppy. You don't know whether you want to hug it or just walk away. Axel's one of my best friends. He makes me laugh, and he always sticks up for his friends. Interesting. Very interesting. Then why didn't you listen to his plan to come get me? Was I just not your cup of tea, or didn't think you could handle it? I figured that we needed brains to fight the Witherstorm. And brains means Eligard. Yeah, I've definitely heard that a lot. <laughs> I'll try not to let it hurt my feelings too much. Well, just keep on your toes. See? This is why I said we should have waited till morning. We wouldn't need to worry about any of this crap. At least we're keeping ahead of the wither storm. We can hash all that out later. We got some monsters to fight here, people. Daytime. How far is Soren? It can't be much further. Not much farther. We can make it. isn't it? <coughs> yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! and thought I would come down to help. <laughs> Endermen. There are so many. I didn't think they ever came in groups that big. Thanks for coming back, Lucas. I mean that.
falls to me to take care of everything. I'll find this super TNT myself. Oh, no, no, no. You do not get to be the one who walks away. That's it. I'm going. See? I'm walking away too now. Super TNT. Here I come. It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. They've definitely got issues to work through. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are we gonna do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. Gabriel, are you okay? I know it's not the best time, and I, I don't want to worry you, but there's something I'd like to discuss with you in private, Jesse. So let's split up. thing to bring up. I don't want to worry the others. Hey, whatever it is, I trust you. You can tell me. Thank you for being so understanding. I'm so glad to see my old friends together again. I don't want to ruin it with this. What? You may have succeeded in getting me away from the Witherstorm, but I fear it was already too late. noticed it not long after you saved me. What is that? What's wrong with your arm? Tell me. Do you know what Wither is? The Wither? Of course. We've been... No. Just Wither. Or Wither Sickness, to be more descriptive. It is something I've contracted before in my travels, but it always wears off. It seems that Ivor's monster exudes a Wither Sickness that is decidedly more fatal. Well, we're gonna go back and tell the others. We can get help. No, Jesse. You can't tell anyone about this. Ah. <sighs> Creeper, look out! <laughs> Take my hand. I'll pull you up. <laughs> my strength is compromised. I couldn't maintain my hold. I'm so sorry. Jesse, are you all right? Don't worry, I'm fine. Time to be a hero again. <laughs> Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you.
must have something useful in here. He has to. Uh, hello there. <gasps> you. Trying to interfere with my plans again, I see. Your tenacity is commendable, yet misguided. Ivor, just calm down, okay? I think we're here for the same reason. I'm here with the order to find Soren's Super TNT. We're gonna take down your Witherstorm. The order? <laughs> Believe me, that plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Out of my way. Move! Wait, but I... Stop right there, Ivor! <laughs> Gabriel! You're alive! Against all your best efforts, Ivor. Look at what you've done. I never dreamt that even you could be this twisted. Save your posturing, Gabriel. We both know your words have always been hollow, just like the Order. You're not going anywhere, Ivor. At least not in one piece. Don't yeah. let the Order decide. They'll know what to do. I've known the Order a lot longer than you, Jesse. And I believe they would be aligned with me. Stop the wither storm! Not you, not the order! Don't make yourselves the villains in my story. Stay and fight, you coward! This could have all been avoided. If you want to stop me, you'll have to catch me first. Look out! He's using a potion of swiftness. We mustn't let him escape. <laughs> I'm like the wind. Jesse, you could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me. Now you. <laughs> he could be anywhere. Stay in your guard. Invisible or not, he isn't going to get by me. <laughs> Please, I just stand down. One's on you, you puffed up fool! They can destroy the wither storm, but they are mistaken, and it will cost them their lives. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. In pursuit of answers, all our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Locked in a dark chamber deep in Sauron's mountain, as the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves, 
Would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Gabriel's wither sickness? Would they find a way to defeat the wither storm? Or would they remain trapped as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Only time will tell.